That's what it is. It's Yo Girl Cadillac. I'm Cadillac Dixon. I'm the Drama Life Prison Wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice. <sighs> Hoping to see justice before all face to black. Yeah, it's Yo Girl Cadillac. Anyways, it is now... Today is the 29th. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Still behind. Waking up behind. But, you know. Okay, so. Marcello wanted me to start doing daily um, poems. I don't know if I could. He claims I can do it. Because he's like, I know you can write. I know you can come up with something just like that. And I'm like, no, I can't. I got to sit down and write and this and that. So, he wanted me to come up with daily poems. So every day when I wake up, I sit to the edge of my bed and my my bed is high so my feet don't quite touch the ground and I just look down. I sit there and I look and I look at the the, the ground as though it is hot lava and I'm looking, peering from my bed, wondering do I want to get out that bed or do I want to stay in the safety of my bed, right? So when I wake up every morning, I wake up, um, most times, I, I hate to just have to get up and go. I like to get up, I do that thing where I look down at the floor, and then I get in bed, and I just meditate and just pray, and just ask God to guide me through today, to help me to face another day, to keep going, because I don't want to keep going, honestly, because I'm here to be honest with you guys. I don't want to keep going um, because I kind of feel like I already know the ending to everything, which is crazy because I'm hoping for a different ending to everything, but it feels like because it's gone this way so long, that this is the way that it is. When you've been in a situation for so long, it's hard to see anything but that situation because you're now clouded by um, the situation, right? So I believe today is going to be like yesterday. Tomorrow is going to be just as much of a struggle as today was as yesterday was, as last week was, as last year was, as last decade was. That's how I I feel like it's just going to be, this is it. it. It gets to a point where you feel like this is pretty much it. So I have to find my happiness in this it, because this is it. But a part of me can't accept that. A part of me is like, I know it's more. It's got to be more. I got to have been created for more. For more than just, you know, taking the short end of the stick or being used or being mistreated or being treated unjustly or experiencing justice. And it got to be more to this freaking life and just working. It got to be more. Because I don't think God would just put us here just to continually. We, we have assignments. We have purposes. And I can't, I can't believe my purpose is just to work at a theme park and to just barely survive. That can't be my purpose. So it's like a, a battle that I go through basically with myself. <laughs> right? But, um... So I get there and I pray and I meditate. And then finally, when my feet hit that ground, I feel brave for getting out that bed. Now, many times I return to the bed and I'm like, that day was just the way I thought it was going to be. It was disappointing. But I got out that bed and faced that day. So he was like, Okay, I want you to write a poem about that. I'm like, I can't write a poem about that. So anyways, I haven't wrote the poem yet, but I started writing it. And he wants me to write poetry about things that's going on. Like, um, he was like, I know you could do it. Because what's that one you just wrote? 
And I was like, that's not a poem. It's basically like a rap. And that's that I work to live and I live to work. I hustle hard until it hurts. I work my fingers down to the bone. And once I pay my bills, it ain't nothing to come home with. Once I pay my bills, it ain't nothing to come home with. Once I pay my bills, it ain't nothing to come home with. Yeah, it's your girl Cadillac. So he's like, I know if you could write that that fast, you could do this poetry every day. So I don't think it's going to come every day, but I guess he wants me to get back into writing. I don't feel the purpose in getting back to writing because I used to write all the time. And I don't know. Nobody, nobody listened to it. It's like I have the art. I have the the creative but if nobody sees it I don't really see the purpose in it am I just making the poetry to recite it to myself am I just painting the beautiful pictures just for me to look at them because it's not doing much more than that but my baby requested it so all right all right guys so I'm gonna go me and Isaiah is for to hang out for a little bit before I go to work back to work I work I woke up late I woke up at 12 p.m., but then I stayed up to um, 4.30 in the morning uh, releasing videos. I'm sure you didn't go watch, and I'm sure not many other people watch. A few watch, but it's always just a few. It's never enough to finally make this a thing, to make YouTube my thing. But, um, yeah, so I diligently was laying into my YouTube, working on it, releasing some shorts from old videos, um, um, releasing the videos that I record and never upload. Uh, I mean, never release and stuff like that. But anyways, I don't know. Maybe one day. I, I hope, I hope and pray that one day everything that I have done in my life actually had been for a purpose. Because if not, I can't even tell you the reason why I existed on this earth. So, I don't know. I just hope it comes together. Maybe they're all puzzle pieces and they all fit a bigger plan and I just don't understand it. Maybe it's not for me to understand the plan. So, I don't know. Alright guys, so I'm going to go. It's about to rain a little bit. Um, I'll talk to you later. This your girl can't let